Welcome back, intergalactic sports fans, to Crush Deluxe League Mode. In the Frungy Crush League, Coach Barry's Red Jelly team was at the top of the Monkey Division with 19 points. Stud Muffin Zygotes were at the top of the Cheese Division with 18 points, and Buck Pulse's Happy Troop was at the top of the Sponge Division with 18 points. Achieved with significantly less ties than Zygotes. The Zygotes. In any case, let's continue the next... Well, uh, first let me look... Let us... Let Coach Barry look over his team. Make sure everything's okay. Uh, no, it is not. We need Cutter to take the place of Zoidberg, who was injured. And Cronaloo needs to be taken... No, Cronaloo... Wait. Kermit? Crap, did... I believe Kermit used up his... Yes, Kermit used up his karma this season, so... Uh... Yeah, Kermit will have to stay out of the game, and the XJS unit will have to come in. Because Kermit does not want to die, so... The lineup will be... Tegan, Deadsoul, Midas, Cutter, Robbins, Gro... Uh, what was it, Gorin? Oh yeah, Gorin. Gorin the Dragorin. Olimus, Repulso... Alright, and let's check the equipment. Two pieces of equipment to distribute. Some Surge Armor and some Normal Reinforced Armor. Who gets the Surge Armor? It looks like Cutter the Kurgan will take the Surge Armor. And then Standard Variety Armor can go to the XJS unit. Alright. So, let's continue. The Frungy Season. This is... Season 4, Week 9, or Season 5, Season 5, Week 9, let's go! Simulate the computer games? Looked like there was a victory for the Rat Pack, the Volcanoes, and I'm not sure who won here, I think it was the Hybrids. Let's play! The Red Jellies, Host, the Furies, and the Zygotes. Oh, the Zygotes, oh, the Zygotes are scary. The Zygotes are scary. The Zygotes team may be a reference to the creation of life, but they certainly don't mind destroying it either. Alright, Tegan is on the field. Let's see if he can use his intuition to correct the... Choose the he did not choose the correct uh, Balbin. You did not choose wisely. It's Guck. Guck does not give a... care. <laughs> He does not give the ball to the enemy. Alright, Dead Soul. Dead Soul is on the field. Dead Soul is a powerful individual. Dead Soul was wearing magnetic... That's right, he has magnetic boots, giving him additional checking power. And he is also a moron. <laughs> a moron with blabophobia. But you don't need to be a moron to acquire blabophobia. I'm... I also have blabophobia. I don't... No one! I don't think anyone wants to be blob, so that is a perfectly rational fear. Did I have any quirks? Egomania and immunity, yes. Of course, I remember the egomania, but I'm also immune. Alright, Guck has the ball, and he's not going to give it away very easily. Both of these teams are quite good at violence. This should be all. Oh, all three of these teams participating are quite adept at violence and brutality. The audience is expecting a very good match. And by good, I mean bloody. And by bloody, I mean entertaining. <laughs> and that's, that's what Crush Deluxe is all about, is entertainment. Violent entertainment. They say sports are the replacement of the violence once seen in the ancient Roman Colosseum. But I believe even the ancient Romans would be impressed and horrified by the brutality that would be seen on the field today. Also, it is the equivalent of many other violent traditions and many other uh, uh, civilizations throughout the universe. But uh, for your, for the human audience, I am making a reference to uh, human Earth history. So, uh, for those of you, for for our intergalactic viewers, uh, there will be a translation available that will convert it to your local culture. Thank you, once again, for tuning in. 
but uh, please, please set your automatic uh, universal translator settings correctly if you get the wrong history. If you get the wrong version of history for your race or species or culture, please fine-tune your settings properly. Thank you once again for tuning in. So, one of these zygotes has the ball. Dead Soul is thinking about attacking him. However, he could wait his opportunity. No, they're gonna, they're gonna... Dead Soul is seeing that they're going to rally up. This is his opportunity to strike and he must take it. Dead Soul! Oh, ran out of... You have no AP left? What happened to your AP? I thought you had full A... Did you just get back up? I... Either I wasn't paying attention to his AP or all his AP just went away. I, I'm not sure what just happened. It doesn't matter. All right, well, at least Dead Soul's nearby and threatening his opponent. Uh, the bouncing... The bouncer trait just teleported. That... That person got... What? Injury. An injury. Looks like... Looks like the... Wow. There's a lot of... My word. Look at the brutality on the field today. That's two people eliminated from the field in very short order. The Zygotes, and where was the other team? The Happy Troop, and the Happy... Both of these teams are quite, quite well prepared to fight, but it is surprising. It, it looks like, it looks like the Zygotes have the advantage at the moment, considering uh, the Gronks are not supposed to be taking quite so many casualties, and they had less members to begin with. Or actually, it looks like... It looks like the Red Jelly is the one at the advantage at the moment, for they have taken no casualties. Can they make good use of their opportunity here? Let's find out. Dead Soul is not a traditional ball carrier by any means, but can he pick it up? No, no he cannot. Those juggling lessons just have not paid off. Cutter is looking at a robot. Cutter is very, very tempted to punch the robot. But for some reason, the robot is very tough. But so it turns out that, oh, Cutter, Cutter has, Cutter has cri crippled checking ability, I forgot. So Cutter is even afraid of a robot. That is a shame for him and the entire Kurgan race. Just like Robbins is crippled at jumping. A shame for the entire Kermian race. <laughs> Let them get together and both share their collective shame for their races. Maybe they can, they can get together and collectively shame their, their, each of their races. Zygotes just failed to pick up the ball. That's looking good for the Red Jelly team. Will they obtain possession? Probably. Tegan is going for the scoop. And he did it! Alright, he has the ball. I, I, I do not have blobophobia. However... I think I just got blobbed. I just got blobbed. I should not have done that. It's like, do I have blobophobia? There was a 1 in 6 chance that I would end up near the goal. There was also a 1 in 6 chance that I would get blobbed. That was a risk I took. It did not... <laughs> I don't like teleporters. I... As, as the announcer, I suggest that none of you use teleporting... Teleportation technology. It is... It is not right. It is not ready. Don't use it. We only use it here in the Crush League for comical value. Well, Tegan is blobbed. He'll have to sort himself out. He'll have to take some time to sort himself out later. Midas just got the stuffing knocked out of him by a powerful hit. He was hoping that Dead Soul's assistance would help him, but it did not. 
And uh, there are intergalactic hot dogs available, made from meats that you can't even imagine. With flavors that you can. <laughs> I am not 100% certain that we can defend ourselves from that robot. So... Robbins is going to take a defensive position behind Cutter. And hopefully these pair of misfit cripples can save... No, 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 no I, I forgot about the Vortex armor. Can can save face and save their reputation. Do not let the end beat you. Yes, good job, Robbins. Wow, nice one, Cutter. Cutter is cutting the mustard and anything else that one would desire to be cut. Well done. He is cutting everything that is a representation of one's ability to do things. Well done. Cutter is just decimating his opposition in a surprising turn of events. Olimus is on the field. Olimus has crippled toughness, but he is quite good at picking up the ball, so I believe Olimus will try to... It looks like he's going to avoid his opponents so that he does not get destroyed, but he is going to attempt to support Robbins in his attempt to get through the opposition. Cutter doesn't look like he's prepared to attack anyone at the moment. Let's see. Robbins looks like he's going to take a leap. He actually would have preferred to leap where Oli misses, so Oli misses is going to move. Robbins is going to leap. He could find himself. Oh no, Robbins has fallen and he can't get up. Robbins has once again shown that not all Permians know how to jump without falling down. For, for he is a poor, poor crippled individual. Okay, uh, Olimus, can you pick up the ball? No. Gorin, can you pick up the ball? No. But you can get the crap kicked out of you, so... So there's that. <laughs> Dead Soul. Would you like to destroy a robot? Might as well. Destroy all robots. Well done, Dead Soul. Now we should probably go for the ball. Uh, so, so Cutter's got the electrocution armor. Cutter's gonna move near Dead Soul. And then we're gonna double team this enemy Kurgan. Or actually, maybe not. He's tougher than I expected. Alright, well, Dead Soul... Did Dead Soul use up more of his... I'm, I'm getting confused with Dead Soul's movement. I think sometimes he... Do you have any perks? I don't know. Or I'm just... Maybe I'm not paying attention to... I think I'm not paying attention to his AP values or something. Doesn't matter. Alrighty, so... The only person left is Midas! At least the Red Jelly team hasn't taken any losses besides their star player, but he was just blobbed, so that's... Being blobbed isn't necessarily uh, crippling or injuring in any way, but it can traumatize an individual for life. <laughs> so, it is a horrifying experience, and considering as long as they manage to reconstitute that individual, and that individual doesn't question their identity too much... <laughs> Then, then all will be well. But it is true, they will be, they will forever be questioning whether or not they are actually themselves or a copy of themselves that happens to have the same memories as the original. Are they just a clone of who they were, uh, of the person who, who went through the portal? This is one of those questions that modern science has yet to answer. But we believe that the most horrifying explanation is true, as is usually the case with intergalactic science. <laughs> the the, the uh, it, it follows that uh, that famous space genius uh, Aglars 
Aguilar's ra razor. That is, the most horrifying explanation is often true. <laughs> what a genius that's, that Aguilar was. Aguilar the Terrible. He <laughs> is truly... He may have been a terrible person, but a true genius in the space sense. In the, in the, in the intergalactic technical sense. Okay, so we have an ant person who is attempting, who has possession of the ball and is attempting to get it in. Robbins doesn't want to deal with any of this violence. He would rather hurt himself by jumping. And he successfully jumped this time. All right, Robbins is running away and we cannot blame him. Olamis looks like he's thinking the same thing. Doesn't want to have anything to do with violence. Should you jump? No, you shouldn't. Take a step back and get with your friends. Well, uh, safety in numbers, my friend, is what Olimus thinks, and it is a wise, a wise decision. There is a small gap in the enemy formation that could let that ant person through. Unless the zygotes have something to do about it. Or something to say about it. The zygotes are trying to stop him. Oh! Oh! The Furies! Number seven has been injured by Dark Fang. He's out for one game. It's a minor injury for an ant. That Gronk failed to pick up the ball. There's a, there's a, oh no, I was going to say there's a golden opportunity for Robbins to move the ball, or pick up the ball, but not anymore. It looks like the Zygotes are making a strong push. The other two teams are a bit behind, but XJS888 is in a good position to deal, to do something about this. If, if in fact an XJS robot can be counted on to do anything about this situation. No, in fact, an XJS robot cannot jump or uh, do anything that's useful in any way, unless they're using very good equipment. Midas is trying to catch up. Cutter is feeling a bit behind and a bit stunned. Dead Soul only has 40 AP. Did he just get back up? I think he just got back up. Yeah, he was down as well. Oldemus is a bit behind. Following Midas here. This is being attacked. Oldemus is being attacked. Uh-oh. That was a bit scary for him. Robbins is thinking, but is uncertain of what to do at the moment. Should Robbins walk or should Robbins jump? If Robbins jumps, he will be unprotected. This would be very... Go ahead and jump, Robbins. Okay, that was very scary for Robbins. He was just attacked by two Kurgans, and he lived to tell the tale. Get away from that Kurgan so you're in a better position. Good. Now, if you fight from here, if you fight a Kurgan, well, you're not very likely to win. Uh... Gorin. Oh no, Gorin is down. Okay, Olamis will continue to support his friends. I think Robbins, rather than trying to engage that Kurgan physically, Robbins is going to think tactically and be waiting at the goal for, it, for the chance that the Kurgan falls on his bottom when jumping and creates an opportunity for him to scoop up the ball. It was quite unfortunate that Tegan took that risk of using the teleporter. It was a calculated risk, but it did not pay off. Wow. Fantastic. The Furies have lost a member, and now one of the Zygotes members is going berserk and has taken on another person. Injury. Another injury, a crippling injury. Wow, what a turn of events. More carnage. This is indeed truly a match of brutality of carnage. This, this is, this did not, these teams did not fail to disappoint the fans. They certainly got what they paid for. 
And they certainly got their worth, their money, out of their quat lose. Their quat, they certainly got their quat lose worth for this in this game. Denzel is down. Injury. It's a trivial injury, but still, it is a terrible blow to the morale of the Red Jelly team who until now had not taken much for casualties or anything for casualties other than that lobby. It's getting a little bit scary out there. Uh, Repulso. The robot is way behind but still chooses not to use the teleporters. XJS888 might not have a influence on this game whatsoever. Robbins is ready to scoop up the ball should it fall. Indeed, let's go greens. And Midas is going to give his opponent the Midas touch. He did not touch. And his opponent did not touch him. Well, things are looking quite good for the Zygotes at the moment. Let's see if they can make this advantage into a victory. A robot detonated itself on Zygotes One-Eye. One-Eye is a very talented Turgon. He has had a lot of victories and carnage under his belt and is no doubt very talented. He won! He made the successful jump. One Eye did an amazing job that match. So hats off to him. A true MVP, if there ever was one. A rating of 71. Well done to One Eye. He may only have one eye, but he can clearly see a path to victory. Well, at least Zoidberg is now out of the hospital and can rejoin the ranks of the Red Jelly team. He will assume his place in number four. Cutter's not so great in any sense of the word, so I think he'll take place of number seven. Holy Miss will take Robin's position. Robin's will take number ten. Repulso is in backup. Chronolu is available, but his value is only at 5k. Chronolu is worse than an XJS robot? How can that be? Apparently, apparently according to League, <laughs> League valuing, he is less valuable or capable than an XJS robot. A true... There never has there been a truer insult to the Kermian race. Or a larger disappointment, one might say. Poor, poor Kronalu. Uh, Zoidberg, are you a doctor yet? You're a doctor. There is a small chance, a 2% chance, every uh, game that Kronalu might get cured. But it's kind of a slim chance. Alright, Kronalu is now a guard. Kronalu... Should you be in the roster? What, in what ways are you crippled, my friend? He's crippled in checking, strength, toughness, and handling. That's a lot of cripplage. But next, yes, robots. He still has 80 AP. He still has higher handling than an XJS robot. Okay, so the game... The game itself is saying that he's worse than an XJS robot, but I do not agree. So, Kronalu can join us. He will join us in slot 9. He will be wearing the armor of the XJS robot, because he needs it. And, uh... Let's see, so we got... Once again, the lineup is Tegan, Dead Soul, Midas, Zoidberg... Olimus, Gorin, Cutter, Robbins, Ronalu, and guess we'll... The, the electrical armor is for Zoidberg. There we go. And 
And does anyone have points to spend that they would like to spend? Zoidberg has 97 of them. He was going up the leader tree. He can get all. And he'll be able to get Sensei. Which makes it easier for people to achieve things. Causes opposing players to react only 5% of the time to this player. I think Zoidberg actually wants to be hit. He wants people to react to him, so I don't think Zoidberg wants that. Zoidberg, however, does not want to be injured, so Zoidberg will become resilient and become tougher than ever. Alright, so Zoidberg spent his points. Midas will become a... Not sure if I really want him to become a judo expert, but it does lead to the quickening, and I do like the quickening a lot, but I like Checkmaster even more. So we're going to save up for Checkmaster, which is 60 points. He's very close. Save up for that. Dead Soul is nearly a terror. He nearly has the Fist of Iron. <laughs> he nearly is a lot of things. He's waiting for the end of those two trees. Good for you. So... Midas is saving. Zoidberg just is doing... Did, uh, did I look at me recently? I... think that karma wouldn't be a bad thing for me to have. Yeah, karma. Karma. Anyone who is talented deserves karma. Oldemus, I think that you should... Get the scoop. You should get the scoop. I think scoopa. You're a scoopa. Alright. People who focus... That, that, the, the, my Dragorans or ball runners. Alright. We have upgraded our team and set it up properly. Let's continue. Week 10 of Season 5. <laughs> Volcanoes. I missed that one. Let's play against the Furies and the Rat Pack. The Furies again. And uh, the Rat Pack... The Rat Pack is looking weaker than ever. The Rat Pack... The Rat Pack is a very apt name for a team that is often crushed like the animal whose name they have adopted. Somebody is late to the game. Is there a reason for that? Was that person also an egomaniac? Wow! Tegan Berry has the ball! It looks like he's going to make up for last game. Hopefully. Let's hope he does not get blobbed a second time. I think this time he is going to avoid the portals, the teleporters, just a bit more than he did previously. Dead Souls on the field. A very reliable ally has appeared for the Red Jelly team. I'm sure Tegan is feeling a lot, a lot more encouraged by his presence. Emboldened. Greatly, I suspect he's greatly emboldened by the, the, the appearance of his heroic Kurgan friend. So, one of the Red Jelly team members is late. I believe that's uh, that's something to do with one of the quirks on the one of the people on uh, one of their, uh, one of their team members. Uh, it could be due to egomania, or it could be due to some other traits. But uh, as long as egomania is wanting to be first, so I, I believe egomania makes someone not show up altogether. So I believe I believe this person is going to show up eventually, but we just don't know when. Kind of a shame. Uh, I'm sure that Coach Barry is very angry at his his one of his team members for that. I'm, I'm sure there is a very firm, a very strong tongue lashing coming that 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 player's way. As as Coach Barry has a a history, a reputation for being very stern. <laughs> Not really. He has a reputation for being a pushover. And that's why his team members are late. That was a very fortunate 
teleporter use. A, a very fortunate teleportation for the Furies. Tegan is under great pressure from both sides. He has displayed an amazing this. An, an amazing, that was an amazing display of agility and evasion. That was truly impressive. Some, some very great footwork. There's some Vortex armors on the field. And we have to, all the players have to be very careful about where they move next. Because the Vortex armor might send them somewhere they don't want to be. Looks like Tegan's gonna make the jump. Will he make it? Yes, he did. All right, good job. Midas is going for the touch. The touch was on him. Midas couldn't take the touch of a robot. It was a bad touch. Very bad. Electrical. Dead Soul looks like he's going to jump. Out of solidarity for his friend. He made it. Amazing. We've, it's very rare that a Kurgan can show such grace and agility. It looks like his gymnastics, gymnastics lessons have paid off. Zoidberg's trying to catch up to the action. He doesn't mind who touches him, even if it's a Gronk. Nothing standing in his way. The robot, the Rat Pack's robot has exceeded its maximum voltage values. And <laughs> lies. And looks like he needs an emergency reboot. Hey, looks like the manufacturer needs to up its level of surge protection in the future. The Rat Pack has illegal equipment and has been taken off the field. What dirty rats with cheats in a game as pure as Crush Deluxe? What makes one turn to such things? I do not know. Is it fame? Is it a giant pile of quatloos? Is it uh, is it the appeal of the the the, the, the promotional deals that one will receive from from victory? Is it, is it the adulation of all the women in the universe? Probably, probably all of those. Those are all very good reasons. I actually no longer blame anyone for cheating in this, in this great game, whose rewards are extremely great as well. Dead Soul has taken out a robot, and it looks like he wants to take another. Dead Soul is on a miniature rampage. Not one that is of the berserk persuasion, but still quite good. I believe his fellow Kurgans are quite pleased with his performance. Tegan can't quite make it to the goal this round. But it doesn't look like there's much that's going to stop him. Will he make it? It looks like that Gronk will be getting up next turn. But he's still too stunned to get any yardage. No, no, the, 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 the Gronk is still stunned. He hasn't, he hasn't finished getting up. He's just leading up. And the only thing that could have potentially stopped Tegan and XJS robots was in fact cheating. And so Tegan will not be stopped. It looks like, it looks like he's gonna make it. Another robot got an extremely lucky spawn. Maybe he'll have a chance. He's pulling Tegan back towards him. Nope! He had a chance, but he did not make it. The game is won for the Red Jellies. Unless Dead Soul kills this robot and goes berserk. No, okay. It was actually risky for Dead Soul to be doing that. Alright, victory to the Red Jelly team. The rushing was done all by Tegan. And there was two acts of carnage by Dead Soul. A, a general sweep of a victory for the Red Jelly team. It is now the time for the Crush League Championship. We have the Happy Troop, the Zygotes, and the Red Jellies facing off for the championship. They all have an advantage. They're all facing off with their respective brackets. Red Jelly will be fighting against good, good guys in the Thunder. Zygotes with the Volcanoes and the Hybrids, and the Happy Troop with the Rotting Death and the Furies. 
they the the winning teams don't necessarily or aren't necessarily certain to be in the final championship, but they certainly have a great leg up on their opponents. So uh, it's so it's to be expected. So one might expect them to be there. Take a look at all the points we've acquired. Let's see, with my character... What was I doing with my character again? I was trying to get uh, 53 points. I can learn Judo. I got 50 checking, that's pretty good. Of course, people can occasionally have higher. 60 tends to be a pretty good one. Yeah, the, my Kermians. My Kermians want to learn Judo. My Kermians definitely want to learn Judo. Because that'll... And the robots. Kermians and robots. The judo is for the weak. Not for the strong. I've got the strip. I think, uh... I think tactics would be good. Yes. Tegan has become tactical. And no longer wishes to be hit so hard so often. Becoming stoic might not be bad either, because... I might be being affected by terror soon. In fact, no doubt someone out there has terror already. I may have been being terrorized or impacted by awe in some of my games. So, Cutter has space rot. Robbins is a slacker! Robbins was not at the match. Robbins... I should consider putting Robbins later in the roster. But he's already pretty far back there, so I think... I think that's fine. Alright, well... Let's continue! Looks like the Happy Troop and the Zygotes won! So that all went as expected. Can the Red Jelly seal the deal versus the good guys in the Thunder? Let's find out. They're both very stiff competition, to say the least. Tegan is on the field. Tegan's looking at his options. And it looks like he's going for the logical choice of the ball bins to the south where he does not have to do any jumping to get to a bin. He may not be getting bins as early as some of the other teams. It looks like... It looks like the... Looks like the green team is also making a similar choice. There's no ball in that bin. Dead Soul is going to try his luck as well. No! At least Dead Soul has not succumbed to electrocution. The good guys have, have achieved ball finding. They have achieved... They have found the ball. They have achieved ball finding? What strange commentary is this? It is quite... It is quite typical commentary for intergalactic... It's, it, it, this is intergalactic. Oh, never mind. This is the sort of speech that's expected of intergalactic commentators. A bit confused in some ways. Alright, so the Red Jelly team is preparing to intercept the ball when it gets to the goal. As they are unsure which route the opposing good guys are going to take. Looks like they're going to the south. That's, that Gronk has some Vortex armor. You think the good guys wouldn't be such cheaters, but, well, you'd be wrong. Perhaps the good guys are simply a name to throw people off the trail of the fact that they are some of the worst people in the galaxy. In fact, I know I'm getting a report that confirms, yes, this is the case. <laughs> you will never find such a despicable hive of scum and villainy than you will on the team of the good guys. My Kurgans, the Kurgans of the Red Jelly team are getting in position, but they do not want to jump over electrical pads. Many good people of the Kurgan race have broken their legs that way. 
the human of the good guys made a perfectly good jump. But can their Gronk do the same thing? Yes, he can. Quite well done. That's some sure footing for some big legs like a Gronk. With the amount of weights, the amount, the sheer amount of weights that lands on those legs when they jump is phenomenal. Sometimes it's very common for the legs to develop either hairline or compound fractures merely from jumping or running at full speed. In fact, if it was not for their great regeneration ability, I believe that they would have great medical issues with having a size and frame of that nature. Zoidberg has used his electrical armor successfully. Tegan is not sure whether he wants to tangle with a giant green humanoid and no one in no one besides the Kurgans and the Gronks can blame him because they don't really understand. But everyone else in the universe kind of feels him. Tegan is trying anyways. He is quite brave for a human. But bravery does not win contests of brute force. And now he's down. Perhaps he should have stood his ground and tried to go for the scoop. Or the strip. They have the good guys have handed off the ball to their human humanoid human. Vince. Vince has the ball. But will he have it for very long? Probably not. And it looks like the thunder is raining blows on Vince. But Vince is taking it like a champ. Not anymore. Vince is down. And the ball is getting the heck out of there. It doesn't want anything to do with this crazy chaos. Will Oldemus be able to pick it up? No. The ball does not like creepy lizard men. And who can blame it? Zoidberg kills Ruck through electrocution. Fortunately, Ruck has regenerated. That was a suicide mission that paid off. Well done, Zoidberg. <laughs> Gorin, the Dragorin, has failed a jump with jumping ability only about as good as a crippled Kermian. You, Gorin, jumped like a crippled Kermian, which is pretty good, but still not good enough, apparently. Midas and Dead Soul are staying defensive, keeping in a defensive line, as they do not like jumping. And it looks like one of the Thunder has picked up the ball. It suddenly was launched into his hands by Vortex Armor. The good guys have managed to liberate the ball. And they've picked it up. But now it's time for the Thunder to counter-attack. But never mind, actually. It's time for a Dragoran to unexpectedly punch the good guys due to Vortex Armor shenanigans. A lot of... The Vortex Armor certainly makes things rather chaotic. Cutter is on the field. Cutter does not have good handling at all. He is not decidedly very, very bad at picking up the ball. And he's also very bad at jumping. But he would rather jump than deal with the potential of being blobbed. And again, who can blame him? Orin decided to walk rather than jump past these two... Slith? That was the incorrect decision. Now he is down. Tegan and Olimus seem to be teaming up and working together.
Looks like Olamis is going to support Tegan in an attempt to get the ball. Well, first Olamis. Tegan is going to support Olamis and have his back. All right now, it looks like Olamis is actually going to make an attempt for the ball first. He has the ball. And he is in a very, very scary position to be having it. Uh, can you can you throw the ball to someone? Can you, you just run, run, Olamis. Olamis looks panicked and is now running as fast as his Dragoran legs can carry him. <sighs> Tegan has been punched by a Gronk and is now traumatized in more ways than one. Hopefully, Olimis will not suffer the same fate, but probably he will. Let's find out. All right, here comes the pain for Olimis. And oh, that doesn't look good. The thunder has been crushed by the good guys. A preview of what's to happen to the ball. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, it's a fatality by a ruck of the good guys. And uh, who the, the, was that? The ruck that got regenerated? Yeah, I think it was. Fortunately, the Dockbot saved him. And it looks like fatalities in general are being uh, uh, are being prevented, but just barely. Much to the disappointment of the fans. What? The, the people didn't actually die? I think many fans are asking for their plot lose back, for they wish to see true death and destruction. And again, who can blame them? Not I. But many people do. Many people who call for peace, international, I mean intergalactic peace, do blame them in fact. But not I, not I. For I am the humble announcer. And I try my best not to pass judgment unduly upon our dear fans. So there's the ball in possession. Who, who uh, the... The good guys, Gronks, are currently in possession of the ball. Zoid, Berg, and Cutter, and Robbins are getting oriented. And Midas and Dead Soul are just watching all the fun, wishing they could take part. Actually, there's a human that nearby that they could have beat up on, but I guess we'll let. Injury. Another injury. Zuck has injured the Thunder's Sawit, who now has crippled legs. Crippled legs that are hurting his reflexes and his ability to dodge. But, well, Gorin, uh, or Gronks, Gronks don't really need to dodge anything anyways. And Gronks weren't really that great at reacting, so not really the biggest loss in terms of abilities in that, for that particular person. But it's always sad to see a good player get crippled. But delightful for the fans. Uh, once again, the fans are happy. Bringing millions and millions of Quatlus to the sport of crushing in a deluxe fashion. The Crush Sports. The Crush. Bringing, bringing millions of Quatloos to the Crush League. Zoidberg's coming in. Trying to encourage. Zoidberg has managed to make everyone who should not be touching him touch him in an inappropriate way. And they are shocked for doing so. Gorin is getting another opportunity. Not Gorin. Uh, yeah. Gorin is, has an opportunity to get the ball and take. Nope. And, and save face for his friend, or take revenge for his friend, make his make his fellow Dragoran's friend, uh, or injury not in vain, but it is not so. Robbins, maybe Robbins can get the ball and gets crippled, hopefully he will not get crippled further, go, go Robbins, go and hide in the corner near the uh, shocking pad. Cutter will cover you as best he can. And so will I. And so will Tegan. Alrighty. It looks like Dead Soul and Midas are getting a bit anxious. Seeing the events taking place. They're edging up. 
but are still quite wary of Vortex Armor potentially pulling them into the shock pads. And who can blame them? Seems to be that seems to be the running running gag, the running statement of this of this of this session. I keep saying, and who can blame them? And who can blame them? Everyone and who can blame me? Everyone in the comments. <laughs> Spiked armor. How unprofessional. And Robbins Robbins managed to avoid the Gronk. I think Robbins is going to have a getaway. I think Robbins might be able to do this if, if no Vortex Armor or oh, if no Vortex Armor pulls him in. He avoided he also avoided the uh, the slip. It is Robbins' turn. Robbins is gonna make the jump. Can he do it? No, because Robbins is a crippled Kermian who shames his race at every opportunity. The Kurgan, Kermian race is now chirping in sheer disappointment. Uh, croaking, croaking with, with rage and fury and sadness as they do, I imagine. Cutter decided to punch a target that was inadvisable. And Gorin is kind of stuck behind a wall of human flesh. Let's see, if you jump like this... If you jump here... And you can get knocked down. Okay, alright then. How can I get through this? If I jump here... No, uh, it was like the last opportunity. Uh, okay, if I if you want to get through this, either you're going to have to be beat people up, or you're going to have to go through a teleporter. Or no, 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 I can jump. I can jump over. No, no. If I jump, if I jump over here, I'm going to get shocked. Is being shocked worth getting through this area? You can only jump. Yeah, you can only jump over one square. So I'd say no. I'd say no. Alright, so Tegan is moving up to the edge. Chronolu uh, is uh, Chronolu is electing to stay safe. And right, we can cross we can cross over this area to the south. Uh, Tegan is going to continue to try to work his way through this. It's very tempting to jump onto the shock pads just to get to the ball more quickly. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a good idea at all. Okay. Uh, Dead Soul, can you pick up the ball? Yes! Dead Soul has the ball! Dead Soul's taking it away, looking very confused to be a ball carrier. But please, nonetheless, he's barely managing to keep the ball pacified in his hands, the ball being a living organism with its own free will and decisions and, and actions and thoughts and dreams. But as long as Dead Soul can coax the ball into being sort of calm and agreeable, He's managing to do it like no Kurgan, Kurgan ever has. As 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 you all know, Kurgan's had a terrible. Oh no! The good guys, the uh, good guys. Ned has been crippled. His hands, his hands, his arms have been crippled. His broken arms, terribly broken arms and hands. Oh, the humanity! I say, as a human, watching another human die in such a way brings me great sadness and displeasure but on the other hand it is bringing millions of Quatloos to the uh, Crush crush League so yeah, there's a silver lining after all alright Dead Soul has won the first match of the Crush League tournament cementing the Red Jelly's position in the final league the, the final league tournament match the match for the League Championship Trophy. So, next time, when we tune in, we will find out who will be the fifth season Crush League Champions. Will it be the Happy Troop of Buck Pulse's Happy Troop? Will it be Coach Stud Muffin's Zygotes? Or will it once again be Coach Barry's Red Jelly? We will find out next time in the Crush League. It looks like neither, neither of these teams, the only team that has previously won a championship of these three teams is the Red Jelly, so it would be quite a surprise if the Happy Troop or the 
It would be quite a surprise if the heavy troop or the zygotes made the that the, won the championship. But we'll find out next time in the Frungy Crush League. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time in the next video. Good night.